poem deck I made is Brand Warrior. Notice how I didn't say Reno Warrior there. Because this deck is more so about brand. Now, I made my version less toxic, so there's no Astalore. And of course, there's no Ignis in here either. Instead, I plan to win with Boom Boss Thogrun, shuffling six TNTs into the deck and then using Gaslight to draw the TNT. Because with Bran, Thorgren will shuffle six of uh, TNT and I'm also running this card which no one runs. Like I'm the only one, I think I'm the only one that run this card. Marut Stone Binder. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go over the new cards. Uh, obviously, uh, we have Aftershocks. So if you cast a spell the turn before you use this, it costs uh, two less, so two mana. And then you deal th three damage to all minions. That's pretty nuts. So it's a uh, three damage AoE for two mana. Now if you cast it for four, and eh, not so great. But because at that point it's like a worse collapse or a worse, a worse death, death and decay. But casting it for two mana is insane. And a lot of times there's plenty of spells in here. So I'll, I'll easily be able to get that off for two mana. So, I like the card. I love AoE, so... I'm happy they're still printing AoE. Uh, of course, we got Bran. Battle Cry. If your deck has no duplicates, your Battle Cry is triggered twice for the rest of the game. A very insane effect. One of the cards in the past that was a must-kill was Bran. Every Hearthstone player knows this. I've had duels with the OG Bran where I would just try to tempo it out and hope it survived. And a lot of times it just wouldn't survive because your opponent would just do everything in their power to kill the OG Bran. Like, that's how powerful the OG Bran was. And so you can imagine a permanent Bran is pretty insane. Now, obviously, they can still play around this card by, like, Dirty Ratting. Uh, they could Theotar and steal this card, of course. But, uh... If you top deck it on 6, you can just play it immediately, and then they can't do that, so... And then, of course, the other new card is Marut Stonebinder, which I went over earlier. But that's the deck. Brand is back. Should be pretty easy deck to get wins with, obviously. Alright, the first duels against Paladin. Ooh, two, three, and four. Uh, do I keep the blast charge? Probably not against Paladin. Alright. I'm gonna coin the two here, because I need to get out early against Paladin. We've got a rock, nice. So, dry scale. I hate to play the dry scale into that thing, but oh well. Yeah, I'm going to slam and rock it. It's too much damage. Can play this. This will be down to five. Guaranteed. Well, unless I draw a Bellowing Flame. But if I draw a Bellowing Flame, that's probably even better. This card, will be, this card is really good against Paladin.
I'm just gonna play this. I need to reduce the damage he's pushing out here. He's pushing out a lot here. And I got this next turn. Yeah, he's already losing steam. I know how to do against aggro. Uh, he could play Prismatic Beam here, but then he loses a lot of tempo. Oh, but he could do that, though. That kind of sucks. Hmm. Oh, I should do this. Well, I guess, no. Nah. Well, no, nah, I couldn't. I wouldn't have been able to do that both open the same turn. Yeah, it's all right. Use a brawl here. I just realized something. Bran would have been really good here because I could have played Bran and then I could have played Noggling and it would have cleared three things. But I think clearing the two one cards is good enough here. Hmm. I think I'll take a brawl. I could Reno next turn anyway. I shouldn't be dead here. Okay, I think did he draw that with hi ho? Uh, second copy of him. So he's got the Garden's Grace here. Hope he doesn't have the. Oh no, he's got that. Okay. Okay. So hope he doesn't get really good c legendaries with that. His Countess. People are still running the Countess. I, I haven't seen her in a long time. As long as he doesn't get like charged and shit, I should be alright. Because I do have Brawl. I don't know why people take their time to make their plays. Just freaking go, dude. What? He picked Slagma? Why would, on earth would you pick Slagma? Oh. oh thanks. It's all the day's work for <laughs> you. Is no excuse for bad manners. Oh, I'll take the Dr. Holiday for zero mana. Uh
He must be a Reno deck then. Yeah, I think I wait then. I think he's a Reno deck. Cause he took the why would he take the holiday if he's not a Reno deck? I have seen all future <laughs> ends here. Oh god, if he if Brand's on the top of my deck. Oh no, don't let Brand be on the top of my deck. Oh, useless card. That sucks for him. Good, it does zero. Thank God. Imagine if that did ten. I think I'm going to Finley here because my hand's pretty bad. I might win him with... Boom Boss is not very good right now, so... He definitely doesn't have Reno because uh, the count he drew the Countess earlier, so he definitely does not have Reno. And even if he does, I don't think it's very good right now anyway. The victory is <laughs> Got him. I love beating Paladin. Because they're like the best class. But they're the worst class. Because I always beat them for some reason. I always beat. Usually I always beat Paladin and I always beat Druid. And I lose to every other class. Not really though. I don't lose to every other class. But um, a lot of the other classes run Ignis. And I usually lose to Ignis. Because Ignis is like anti-control and I refuse to use Ignis because I'm not one of those people who wants to run a s the same card in all their decks. Oh, and you still keep the two-star bonus on Diamond 9. Wow. Because I hit Legend last month. That's cool. I guess it goes away on Diamond 5 then. That's kind of awesome. I thought it would go I thought the star bonus would go away by now. But I guess it goes away in Diamond 5. At least my at least my deck gives my opponent a chance to win, you know. Ooh, keep the brand. See a brand? Alright, so Embrace the chaos. So so you see a brand, you keep a brand. I don't know if I keep the aftershock, so I don't know if I'll need it. He's probably Highlander. If he's elemental, I just regretted my life. I, if if he's elemental, I just tossed away the best card against that deck. But I'm assuming he's Highlander. But he might be elemental as well. Um. That seems like a... I don't think I've ever seen Reno players run. I think this is Nature Shaman. Yeah, this is Nature Shaman. Which means I need to gain a lot of armor. And I literally can't use the Gaslight. It's basically useless because I have, I have to play Brand first.
I'm thinking about hero powering here. I don't want, I don't think I want to miss a hero power against that deck. I can always play the three mana card any time. I need to make sure to hero power every turn. It's very important that I have as much armor as possible to survive his onslaught. Wait. What? What just happened? He just played this for nothing. What am I dueling against? Well... I'm still gonna do this. And I'm not gonna bash as a t totem. Like... I don't understand what I'm dueling against. He just played a 4 mana card to do nothing. And he coined it out. I think I will... I think I want to play the Whelp out. Because I'm going to be playing Brand next turn. I need to contest the board. That's a pretty good card to get back. So next turn we brand. Assuming he doesn't like spam the board here. I don't know what the hell he played that for though. Maybe he just wanted to get it out of hand. Maybe that was it. Okay. So now we need the boom boss. And we need eight mana. I, neither one of those I have right now. <laughs> don't blow, don't blow this to me, bro. Not that it'd be very good here anyway. Okay, turning tides. That's fine. So I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Um, nature shaman. Yeah, I think I trade like this because um, I get bat. Uh, I think it was just better to do it like that. I care about. I think I care about this one more, right? Who cares about healing totem? I don't need to slam right now. I did take an off turn on not using the armor though. Yeah, see? They have a lot of burst. Which has me a little bit scared. Humble Geist? Alright, I'm at 46 armor. I don't know how much damage that deck can deal. So they've spammed the board, right? With... Alright, so he's going to draw 3 overload here, probably. If I had to guess. Yep. So, what they do is they spam the board, right? And then they play the Bioluminescence and give all their minions spell damage plus one and then they just throw spells at your face so I'm hoping I can survive just with armor alone I don't know Alright, well, here's where I hope I don't die here. I'm gonna bash this thing so I get the draw. I hope I draw one of the TNTs here. Maybe multiple TNT. Nope. 
But we could gaslight next turn. I need to kill this because of spell damage reasons. I hate leaving that card up, but because now you can pretty much pop off, but hope I'm not dead. Because he had another one anyway, there's not much I could do. I think I had to risk it here to win. I need to play a Gaslight next turn and draw a bunch of TNT or else I just lose. I might lose this turn though. So you buy Luminescences, that costs... What does it cost? Three or four? I think four mana, right? I don't think he could do it on this turn. I think he already used too much mana. Yeah, he's just going to schooling to kill the boom boss. Okay, next turn he's popping off, so I need to get rid of his hand. Boom boss, please. We could trade in this first. Alright, we trade this in first, so we'll have nine cards in hand. And then we gaslight my, we gaslight our my opponent. Is there? Come on, draw the TNT. There's one. Get rid of his bioluminescence. Come on. There's two. Bar luminescence. Okay, lightning bolt's good. Do I have any other ways to draw? I should have bashed first. Mm. Yeah, I misplayed there by not bashing first because I forgot that I drew four. But it didn't matter. I didn't draw a T and I didn't overdraw a TNT, so it didn't matter. If if I would have overdrawn a TNT there, it would have been a huge misplay. Like probably a game game losing misplay. But, uh, I'm not used to, this is literally my, like, like, 10th duel using Bran. Um, because I used it the day of the Deep Home expansion, but I kept losing games because of Ignis. So, those games I don't want to remember, remember, because I was very salty. I even uploaded a video called Ignis Stone. And, uh, um, what is it, uh, I was very salty in that video. Anyway, let's go back into another duel. I got one more duel to get. I'm 2-0 so far with this particular build of the deck. Alright, I love dueling against druids. Well, not the new, it was like a new druid deck that's kind of, I don't really want to duel against, but if it's dragon druid... Then I'm okay doing against Dragon Druid. So they like to summon those like Naga Giants, right? So I think keeping the Brawl card. Or is that too. I think that might be too late. We definitely get rid of the Slam and the Flunky. I think I keep these two. Because if I could Bladestorm down the Naga Giants, that'd be great. And it might not even be that. It might just be a... Uh, nope, it's Treant. Okay, so Bladestorm's not bad against Treants, but the 7 mana, not so much. I was assuming it was going to be something new, but of course not. Of course not. 
Why would anybody play something new when they could play Treant Druid? Oh, Playstorm was good there at least. Um, we could play the... Wow, just Hero Powering or Treant Druid? So that's the deck I hit Legend with last month. And I may be Hero Powered out of like... What was it like? I don't know how many games there was. I think it was like 30 games or something. Maybe it was under 30. Uh, Hero Powered maybe... Three or four times in those like 30 games. ETC and Treant Druid. What? What are you putting ETC in your Treant Druid deck? I wish I had that one, uh, hero, what was that, where, you know that one hero that goes, what was that? Ooh, Belling Flames is really good. Allow me to forge both of these. Or do I want to, nah, I think I only forge one, right? I need to excavate. And we trade this in here, we go face. We got Reno coming up, we got four bell bellowing flames, we got uh canary. What is he playing? He's not even Treant Druid. Because he's playing that card. This dude's got me confused. Oh, this is a beast. I could overdraw him. I don't mind him giving him that card. Oh, we're gonna take a bash. He overdraws here. What does he overdraw? Oh, it's not. Yeah. Well, I guess it is good for his Topior. Yep. So I can overdraw him again if he doesn't play a. Actually, I don't want to bounce that to his hand though. That seems like a bad idea. Just saying. I think that's just a game. That's just a game loss if I do that. Let's do this first. Okay, he might play. Re he might be a Reno deck. I don't know. I don't know what the hell he's playing. It's weird. I haven't seen this deck. Got those six sevens, which are good good against the three threes. Six seven is really good against that three three. We need to trade four of them in. Or three three of them in, excuse me. Okay, he's not a Reno deck because he played two of those. So he can kill the six seven or he can kill other things. He can make favorable trades. Yep, he's gonna make some favorable trades here. Nope, he's gonna face tank six. Okay, that's fine. Good for you, buddy. So we do this. Oh, I thought I had a way to bounce. I was gonna say I was picking Odin there because I could bounce him back to my hand, but I don't. I don't have a way to bounce him. Canary only bounces enemy minions. The 
Dirty rat. Could be lethal here, actually. Ah. Uh, wait, was it? Oh, I think I missed. Yeah, I missed lethal. I could have bellowing flames. Oops. Ah, uh, punished. Omega p punished for not bellowing flames there. I didn't even see it. Was that one man off, though? I think I might have been one man off. I think it's still over here anyway. Yeah. It would have been over next turn. I think I'm, I have to go back and check and see if I had three mana. I didn't see... I didn't realize that he was so low. I think I did miss lethal there though. I have to check the video. Yeah, I did miss lethal. I, I, just, I just looked up the video. Yeah, I had four mana. I could have bellowing flames the 2-2. Two -two. It would have killed the other 2-2. Two -two. And then I could have hit face with the cobalt and then ragged. Uh, would have killed him. I didn't realize. Uh, I didn't realize he was so damn low. I didn't even think I did that much damage to him, to be perfectly honest with you. Like, uh, this is a control deck. I did, uh, like, I honestly didn't think I did that much damage. I'm not used to doing that much damage to my opponents. Anyway, I won anyway, it didn't matter, but I could have lost. That would have been hilarious if I would have lost. I would have found it funny. I know most people would have been upset about that, missing lethal and then losing, but I don't get upset about that kind of stuff. I find it funny. Human errors. Everybody misplays, literally. People who call other people for misplaying, they misplay themselves, so they're just hypocrites. So they're the ones that are worse than other people, you know? Because, like, like they misplay themselves. But they call other people out for their misplays, which is a hypocrite. Not something I, I do. I don't call people out for their misplays because I know I misplay myself. I'll be the first one to admit that. I have no qualms of saying that I misplay. I'm pretty much misplay in not every game but every now and then I'll misplay it's all part of life you know I've seen streamers misplay before it's something that happens pro players misplay at tournaments for prize money there's actually a tournament that got decided because someone misplayed I don't remember what tournament match it was but the person misplayed and it costed him the game. And that's for money. So it just it's just a human thing, you know? It has nothing to do with skill. There's no such thing as skill in a card game. Um, people can say they're skilled at this game, but not really. Like, I'm not skilled at Yu-Gi-Oh! even though I played Yu-Gi-Oh! for my whole life. It's just I know the matchups in Yu-Gi-Oh. I know the matchups in Hearthstone. I know how to duel against them. That's what the skill is. Not the actually playing the game. It's all about knowing what your opponent has in their deck. Countering it. And then you win. If, Because the matchups... You gotta realize like the matchups... Some of the matchups you just can't win. Like you have such a low chance of winning... It's just impossible to win. You know, you can't win every single matchup. That's what the whole idea of countering is all about. So, yeah. That's just my take on everything. I don't think I'm very skilled at Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't think I'm very skilled at Hearthstone. I just think I know the game and I can play good. But there's no skill involved, really. It's just... All about drawing the right cards at the right time. Card games are more about luck than skill. It's all about consistency. Like how consistent can I get Bran out on turn 6? Which I did against that uh, 
one player, the sh- what was it the shaman I dueled against? I got him out on turn six. I think so. And I won that game. Of course, I'm, of course, I'm going to win if I get this on six. But if I get this on ten man, I might still lose. You know, it's all about luck. I got to get lucky and draw this card. You know. But yeah, that's just me. That's my thought process at all times. I'm I don't have an ego whatsoever. Uh, I don't feel like I'm amazing at a game. I don't think think I'm good at a game. I just think, or I do think I'm good at a game, but I don't think I'm amazing or bad or terrible. Whatever people may want to say, I don't think anybody's terrible or amazing at a card game. To be perfectly honest, I think either you're either bad or you're good at a card game. It's as simple as that. No one's amazing. No one's terrible. So, that's just my rant. I just don't like people with egos who think they're, like, think they're better than everybody else, you know? It's just not the case. No one is. We're all equal. At least in my eyes, anyway. But yeah, thanks for watching. Later.